to forget your labor of love. Your work and labor of love which you have shown. So God's righteousness makes him remember. Makes him appreciate. It makes him remember. And so if godliness is God-likeness. That is you look like God. So when you remember and you are able to say thank you, it is your proof of godliness. I want to encourage you. Start from where you are with people in your space. Begin to appreciate your wife, your co-workers, your subordinates, your superiors. Somebody, you are about to cross the road, they, they, <laughs> they, they stopped for you. Don't just pass like that. Wave. One day we're driving in this premises, passing as they, when my wife was sitting with me, I was driving, and then somebody was passing. We stopped. The person waved. When we move again, another person was passing. We stopped. That person just went like this. <laughs> and my wife said, the first one, good character. Second one, bad. <laughs> that is, the second person didn't know that we have had an example of a good behavior. <laughs> we just saw example of good behavior. And that one wave, this one wave for us. I think both of them were women. This one wave for us, the other one. <laughs> that is, it is my right. Don't you know I'm a woman? I deserve <laughs> First one, good behavior. Second one, and may you, your bad behavior never come when good behavior just finished. It becomes so glaring. It becomes so glaring. Hallelujah. So begin where you are. Because repetition brings perfection. Anything you do repeatedly, you exercise brings excellence. Do it. Start it with the, the men of your world, the people of your life. Repetition brings perfection. Exercise brings excellence. You see military people? Every day they are marching. Every day they, they have been doing it for donkey years. Independence Day parade now. I'm sure it started almost two or three months ago. They get it perfect today. Tomorrow they come back, get it perfect. Next tomorrow. Do you understand what I'm saying? Very, very important. Very, very important. Now, in conclusion, what is the outcome of the character of appreciation? Number one is entrustment with more divine results. God trusts you. Oh, you are able to say thank you for this little. Let me trust you with more results. Entrustment with more divine results. That is God says, I am comfortable to do business with you. I am comfortable to go with you any, 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 to any extent you want me to go with you. You can say thank you. He that is faithful in the little is faithful in the much. That is entrustment with more divine results. Number two is victory over the temptation of pride and vainglory. You get victory over the temptation of pride and vainglory. If appreciation never leaves your mouth, you can, arrogance can never arrive. Because God will not give his glory to another. Isaiah chapter 42 and in verse 7. One of the secrets of Bishop David O'Hirico. Verse 8. Four to, to eight yes. I am the Lord. That is my name, and my glory will I not give to another. Neither my priest to graven images. 
one of the most impactful men on earth today in the gospel and even in any realm is God's servant Bishop David the Unipo, running two universities at the same time. All manner of unbelievable accomplishments that at times you think if a hey, hey, hey. and yesterday was his 67th birthday. Happy birthday to you, sir. As your day so may your strength be. In Jesus' name. The kind of thing that will make a man become a demigod. You hang around him permanently. He is alive. He is a faithful God. Thank you, Jesus. It's just endless. Endless. If you want, you can count them. Count them. And he said he told the church publicly, anything good you saw here, God did it. Anything bad, I did it. He said somebody came to him and said, with all this accomplishment, when you walk on this ground, this Canaan land, this Covenant University, this ground, where you walk, what do you feel? He said, I told him, I feel God. Eh? Very spontaneous. What do you feel? So, oh, I feel how I achieved. Oh, no, no, no. What do you feel? I feel God. I feel God. I feel God. What did you use to build all this place? Faith in God. Is that all? That is all. <laughs> Hallelujah. He said after the university was completed, God said, you want me to run it? Yes. Lie down on this floor in the front of everybody and hand it over to me. So he, lie, he laid down on the bare floor in the sunny, sunny day, he laid on the floor. His, he said the heat from the ground entered his body. He said, I handed it. Everybody was watching. The, the first day of the university opening, he lay down on the floor in front of the gate. Heat of the day. He said the heat entered his body. And that was the last time he felt any heat concerning the running of that place. When you are talking of 40 something, 50 something, something million for just light bill to run light. That is, as at then, I don't know what, it may be up to 200 now. That is when he handed it over. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you must sustain authority, you must possess humility. Otherwise, it is not sustainable. It's not sustainable. A collapse is inevitable. And that humility comes in Tireless appreciation. Tireless. A British man came in here today. White British man. And he came and um, he had left before I knew he came. And they called me that he came. And he was, his, he was pleading that they should allow him to climb the altar so he can praise the reverend. And when I spoke to him, I said, please be on your way, be on your way, be on your way fast. And he came, took him here to the altar, knelt down, making demands on the help of God. At the end of the day, he said, I should pray with him, laid hands on, on him, praying that the power of God and the help of God should be on him. And he said to me, what a humility. I said, what? He said, oh, that he has heard of me as see what God is in, but he never knew that it was that simple for us to see. And for me, it was the most normal and natural thing to do. So, victory over the temptation of pride, the temptation of vainglory happens when you are tirelessly thankful. Number three, acceleration. To higher dimensions of divine manifestation. You just shift from baseline interventions to unbelievable manifestations. Acceleration to higher dimensions of divine intervention. The realm where they say eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It has not entered the heart of man. The things God has prepared for them that love him. Acceleration. 
higher dimensions. First Corinthians 2 and in verse 9. And of course, you saw already Luke chapter 17 from verse 11 to verse 19. When the man came and said thank you, his miracle shifted levels. He told him, go and be whole of all your plagues. You just shift. If you are thanking God for the gary you are eating, very soon it will change to rice. When you are thanking God for the pure water you are drinking, very soon it will change to bottled water and change to higher levels. When you thank God, I don't know if there is B2 here anymore, for your B2 car you are driving, it will change to Mercedes car. When you thank God for his finger, you see his hand. When you thank God for his hand, you see his face. And when you thank God for his face, you see himself. He does arrive and say, carry me. Stand up on your feet. I commit myself to you. I commit myself to you. I when we stand and we are dancing, people think we are entertaining. Jehovah sees what we are doing. But well, that's the only reason why it can be done with such energy and such without tirelessness. Are you hearing what I'm say saying here tonight? Higher dimensions. When ministry started, we are not seeing the things we are seeing now. Today, people are not just being healed inside service. Somebody is paralyzed in his house and then saw a dream where the pastor came and prayed for him in the dream and he wakes up walking. That one, I'm not aware of it at all. And who did that? God. Why did he not use his own face? Or use the face of an angel? He just gave a mortal man the privilege of identity. I could have gone and healed a man and nobody would trace anything. You wouldn't even know. I could have touched him on my own. He woke up walking. But I, I used your face to touch him. Then you raise shoulder and say you are the healer. That's why you will rose in hell and, and, and not come out. Since you are the one who healed him. Well, when did you disappear to, to go to that person's house? Why, why didn't you tell us before the person came and testified? That I went to Kubwat last night. I healed 30 people there. Not aware at all. Just say, let me extend to you a little privilege of association with you. Not because you are better than others. But because of your heart of appreciation and because I have chosen to work with you and you are cooperating with me so far. Hallelujah. Lift up your hands and go ahead and appreciate him. Worship him, honor him. Father, we give you the praise and give you the honor. Anything you can thank God for, go ahead and thank him. Anything you can honor him for, go ahead and honor him. Anything you can appreciate him for, go ahead and appreciate him. Father, we praise you. Father, we honor you. Father, we adore you. Blessed be your name. Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. And we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, we give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are Lord, you are Lord.